I love it when you come on set with us because I can bring up the technical charts. I've got one here, 4663 on dollar yen. And I bring it up because I know you've been writing about the impact of uh, the trade escalation, particularly on Japan and on the yen. And you've started recommending a short dollar yen position in your model portfolio. Now, this technical chart actually shows dollar yen bouncing off that 200 day moving average and the 110 level. Do we break through 110 soon and stay there? So we think we can do. In terms of the catalyst, the trade war we think is, uh, is something to really focus on. You know, what's interesting with the trade tensions is that on some fronts they're de-escalating. So in the uh, Mexico, in Canada, even with the EU to some extent, it seems like we're probably past the worst. However, with China, we think that's not the case. In China, we think it's probably, the situation's probably still going to get worse before it gets better. And I think the outcome of these trade talks, the fact that very little has been uh, achieved, the fact that they come against a backdrop where tariffs have actually been increased by both the US and China, uh, suggests that trade tensions are likely to get worse. So this has been, but it's been dollar positive up to now. What makes it turn yen positive? So what's interesting about the yen is that it hasn't really been responding as you would expect to these... Uh, these um, um, the dollar's uh, been the haven. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the next kind of front of the trade tensions that's likely to, to build is versus Japan. And we think that uh, as you start to get talk towards uh, more of a trade agreement between the US and Japan, this is going to lead to the yen becoming in focus. And remember that Trump has been very critical of the Chinese currency, of the European currency. He's so far been very quiet on the yen. And that's one of the reasons why we've seen uh, the yen underperform the likes of uh, uh, the euro and, uh, and the dollar. Um, so we think that there's likely to be much more focus in the next round of trade tensions on the yen. But the tensions are positive for the yen. Uh, Why yes, are the tensions yes. positive for the yen if Japan is in the crosshairs? Because the yen, out of all the G10 currencies, is the most undervalued. Okay. So if you are going to be critical, Japan should be on your, your list of criticism. So if you're looking to trade this then, what's the timing in terms of... Because if you look at hedge fund positioning, they're still short the yen as well. So how do you actually time this trade yep. Yep. and to what level? Yep. I mean, one of the issues of going short dollar yen is that it's very negative carry because of the interest rate differential. Um, so that's why the technicals that you bring up are, are very important. So that's why I think when you do get that break of, uh, of 110, that's going to lead to a lot of investors starting to add the trade because they don't want to put it on until they see that trend start to appear because it's going to start costing them money.